Hello guys, good morning. How are you all doing today? Welcome again to my beautiful kitchen where we prepare different types of daily cases. Yotako, what are we preparing today? This is um donut bread. Okay, I saw the recipe on an Italian channel and I decided to replicate it right here. Okay, so I used 500 grams of flour, that's um, four cups of flour, then um, one tablespoon of, uh, no, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, okay, and then um, three um, liters of um, warm water, you know, to proof the yeast, and then eight grams of yeast, yes, and then um, egg. So you get your powdered um, ingredients, that's your flour, your sugar, and your salt, and your yeast. You mix them first. Then you make a whole or a well, you know, between them, and then you put your liquid ingredients, that's the water and the egg, okay? So now I've put in um, one white egg and then one full egg that's the egg the yolk and the white so i used two eggs but one just the white one and then the second one the yolk and the white egg so i'm going to go ahead and mix all together that's my liquid ingredients and my powdered ingredients then i went in with this vegetable oil okay then you mix and if your spatula cannot continue mixing you go in with your hand so i had to go in with my hand here now to knead it okay because you need to knead it so after kneading you grease your bowl with oil and then you put it back and allow it to rest okay. for one hour okay don't forget to cover with a cling film if you don't have a cling film you can cover with a towel or any cover cover that you have in your house so after one hour this is our dough it have rise okay so <laughs> we would deflate it would we would derise it <laughs> and then you pour oil on your work surface so that it will not be sticky sticky do you understand her hand then you bring out your dough and then you knead a little into a bowl and then you start cutting you see how stretchy it is see how stretchy our dough is try and make your dough stretchy like this okay uh-huh so you go in and cut to your desired um shape i think this one gave me like 15 15 a bit 12 i think so so i had to cut and then i started molding them into small small balls okay so after molding it into small small balls you will have to leave it again to rest for another 20 minutes okay i uh had -huh. just try and mold it into a desirable ball okay then you sprinkle your work surface with flour and then you place them and cover and allow it to rest for 20 minutes then after 20 minutes i got back to my balls you see they've risen again and then i'll start deflecting and shaping it to the size um to the shape that i want this to be like i said this is donut bread okay so i'm going to you know twist it as if i'm like a line something like that so this is how i'm going to do it just you can actually just you know turn it or bend it the way you want but see how i twisted this one and um it's very very easy it's not hard just you know roll it as if you're rolling mat yes as if you're rolling mat just gradually 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 make sure that it covers well so that there will not be any space inside that place you are rolling okay so after rolling it you now um, pinch it together the the last part you pinch it together so that it will not back color you understand yes so just pinch it and then roll it again to cover it up very well then you have to flatten one end you have to flatten one end like you know how you put rope inside a rope or so or pipe inside another pipe right here so you flatten one part one side and then use it to cover the other side just like this and you've gotten um, your shape so you do it to the rest of the balls you do it to the rest of the balls okay and voila that's it okay 
then you start placing it into your pan and i always like to put um, parchment paper on my pan you know i think if this is the you know or something i don't know so after that i bought that my egg yolk that i took the white and then put the milk inside it to wash uh my um dough you know you need to you know clean the top with the egg wash you call it washing a big egg wash or whatever you brush it <laughs> so <laughs> i had to go in add this is after 30 minutes again then you now brush your your dough that you've molded into the shape that you want and it have risen again then i went in with sesame seed on top of it just to add you know um uh, came on to the whole thing <laughs> and then i'm going to put in the oval right now and voila this is our cooked bread thank you for watching see you in my next video bye